Transfers, transfers, transfers. That's what we're talking about this week with these guys on Arsenal Nation. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Arsenal Nation. So it's not much fun being an Arsenal fan at the moment, as you well know. Knocked out the FA Cup, lost to Bournemouth. However, if we don't laugh about it, we'll cry. So we brought someone in who will make you laugh, hopefully. It is Mr. Mellow Comedian. Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> On his debut we as well. We like the Bumba Club. <laughs> <laughs> and we welcome oh, back. It's his third oh. time in here. It's Mr. Sharky. Hello. Oh, all right, as always, we're going to kick off the show with a segment we call We Need to Talk About. And it is January, and there's a couple of transfers that we have to talk about. Right, so thoughts on Theo Walcott, our longest-serving player. Looks like he's on his way out. Are we going to miss him? You know, there's, there's, he's gave us some great moments, you know. But I think it's time for him, personally, to move on. Um, I think he's been in the club a little bit too long. I think it's time for him to now move on. Yeah, uh, same as what he said, I think. Um... He's been here for so long, and I don't think he's really improved over the last few years. I think if he goes somewhere else, I think he'll rejuvenate. And he'll flourish. I, I feel that his confidence is shot a bit, though. Yeah. I feel yeah. that he's, you know, there's, there was a time when, you remember when he just got injured um, just after the Tottenham game when he'd done yeah. that whole yeah, team yeah, of thing? Course, yeah. Where he was, playing a, he was playing really well in the team, um, and you could tell his confidence was up. I, I could imagine he's not starting. His he confidence hasn't had dropped. a consistency of games, and that's he what he needs. needs because I like he's a nice. He seems like a nice guy. Hundred percent. You know, he seems like a really nice guy. I just feel that he needs to be in a team where he is almost a bit of a star, he's a needed. little bit, yeah. and he can kind of play in the position that he wants. I don't think he's ever going to get that Arsenal, mm -hmm. and he's had a, a lot of chances to do that now. Well, boys, it's been a sad week because we're saying goodbye to Francis Cockling. He's going over uh, to Valencia, joining Gabby over there. It's sad because he's such a brilliant player. But how do we feel about him leaving? Um. It's weird because I don't feel he really needs to go, but I do get he's not getting any game time. So as a player, you want to get game time. I felt we 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 should keep him. We should have kept him. You think so? But I'm not I'm not sitting here like like crying that he's gone. Yeah. But I guess you know if, if Jack if Jack gets injured, then we're like we should then we're all gonna say why did we sell him? Why did we let him go? So mm. and we're putting a lot on that on Jack not getting injured. But Sharky, I mean, what are your thoughts? Valencia's not a bad team for him to go to. Is oh, it a smart move for very, him? They're a very good team. They're like killing it in the, in the Spanish league right now. Thin in top three right now, third place. But I think um, I understand why he hasn't been playing. I think um, Santi Cazorla, bless him, um, getting injured. I think just like Children. they had that partnership. Like they they both complement each other perfectly. So Cochlin playing with Walsh doesn't work. Cochrane playing with Xhaka doesn't work. It only worked with Santi Cazorla. And Santi Cazorla, I don't see him come back anytime soon. Um, he had a really bad injury, so he just did, Cochrane didn't fit in the team. And to be fair to him, he's pulled off a very good move. Like, he's gone to a, a team just as good as Arsenal, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, um, on, his, on, for, on his side, it works. On our side, it works. Um, I think it's the perfectly fine transfer. Yeah. Looking, looking around the league at other transfers that have been happening in this window, Ross Barkley to Chelsea. We thought it was going to happen in the summer for a lot more than what's actually happened. 15 mm. mil to Chelsea. Is that the kind of play you think Arsenal should have been going in for? I mean, it, it was clear he was going to Chelsea for quite a while, but you, do you think that's a, a progressive move to go in for someone like Ross Barkley? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's positive. <laughs> uh, um, I, I prefer Ramsey over him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. Barkley's been really under the radar recently, so I, I think we've got players in the team that um, I prefer over him. Um, I don't, I, it's very cheap, very cheap. Yep. Um, especially he could have gone for a lot more. Same with Sanchez, I think. But um, yeah, no, I think we've, I'm happy with the play, the midfielders we've got over him. Um, if it would sign another midfielder, that was even better, then I'd probably take them. But over Barkley, I'd, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Mo, yeah. Mo, when you look around, who would you want to bring in? And, you know, if there was somebody that you could bring in, you've got infinite amounts of money, who would you bring in? Oh, where do we start? I mean, this is like football me. manager and you've just made me a sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is how it feels. I can yeah, sign there's, a, there's a billion in You're your welcome. bank account. You know, I, I'm really gutted we never went in for um, Kante. I'd still take him now. I think he's a workhorse. Um, I think he'd be that kind of missing piece mm. we'd have because we. I think we've always played good when we've had someone who can just say, look, we need to could you just sit back because we're so good at counter-attacking. It's when it's the other way around, when people are countering on us, that 
is becoming our Achilles heel a little do, bit. Do you know what else I love about Angola Kante? It's nothing to do with the way he plays at all, but the fact that he drives a Mini. He drives a Mini Cooper. I've heard I about just this. love that. Yeah. In the car park with this. all those massive cars and all those Range Rovers. He just yeah. wants to play football. Mini. Yeah, he wants to play football. He does, doesn't he? He just loves playing football. He just seems like a cool guy, isn't it? Yeah, right. He just seems like the kind of guy... He seems like the only one who would actually come off the team training bus and not have... Like a little Louis Vuitton pouch. Yeah. <laughs> some, yeah. Some like beats by Dre. He's got a Tesco's plastic bag. He's just got a shower gel in his hand. Let's not see me fight. All right, cool. Do you want to get involved in the discussion? Because right now it's really high end. If you do, just use the hashtag Arsenal Nation or comment in the box below and we might be reading out your comments in the next show. So, uh, loads more to talk about, but we need to catch up with some of our players. And this week it's the turn of Mr Hector Bellerin, who has been in the headlines. We'll be talking a little bit about that after this. It's a game of yes or no? No. Yes. I haven't seen it, so yes. What? 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 What's that? Does pineapple belong on pizza? No, no, not at all. What does belong on pizza? Tomato sauce. Yeah, big fan. Who's your favourite character? Favourite character has to be uh, Tyrion. Yes. No. And, and a knee slide? Yeah. yeah. No. Yes. Really? What is it? Yeah, I know. Um, no, I was surprised. What did you sing? I sang uh, Suavemente, which is a Latin song. Of course, kind of question that. There he is, Hector Bellerin. As I said earlier on, he's been in the headlines quite a lot recently, more so for his fashion sense than anything else. What do we think of Hector Bellerin's fashion sense? This isn't him. Oh. This was a this was a Photoshop. Don't worry. I think Rio <laughs> Ferdinand actually tweeted oh, this out. My. What's your? <laughs> and it made us think, actually, not only about Hector Bellerin's fashion sense, but other fashion fails in football. So we had a little comp put together. What do you think of these boys? Wow. Right? Yeah, that's... No. Nah. Footballers, can, they can never dress because they don't have enough time. They don't have anywhere to go, really, to dress. <laughs> oh, Tony Adams. Oh, my God, that's shocking. <laughs> he looks like... Um... You know, he had that made for him. He had that tailored. Yeah, he's just like his tailor. He's like the Mad Hatter. He does. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, no. Where did the army get that coat? That looks like the kind of coat you see in blue ink for He's like. Just dressing for the cold, right? For like ten, fifteen pound in the sale. <laughs> These cold. Oh yeah, yeah this yeah. is shocking. This yeah. is shocking. Liverpool. Right. Meet me at the crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your worst fashion fail? What was what's yours, mate? I used to wear bootcut jeans. <laughs> oh yeah, college days. Can't judge me. I was earning EMA. £30 a week, yeah? <laughs> Don't judge me. When you're on the breadline and you're struggling, yeah? Sometimes you just have to do things that you regret, but... Did they, yeah. like, fully cover your trainers? Oh, mate, you couldn't see my trainers. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were the ghetto flares of their time. Oh, my. <laughs> What's your Sharky? Uh, probably chinos. I used to, like, rock chinos. I had, like, every shade of brown. <laughs> I, had, I had it all. Did you have peach ones? Uh, every shade, bro. <laughs> every shade. I had them. But what cut were they, though? That's where it counts. Were they no, like no, they were all right. No, they, they, they were, like... Mid. Okay. You know what I mean? They weren't tight, but they weren't... Like a straight fit cut. cut. Yeah, just okay. mid. Uh, it's just the colours that were a bit off, awful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's move on. As much as I'd like to listen to that all day, because that was so interesting to me. <laughs> I've got more if you want it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to it. Uh, Lucas Podolski opened his own kebab shop in Cologne, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that one in there. He apparently got a really good reception as well. There were like a thousand people in attendance. Wow. And people were queuing for five hours to get one of his Donner kebabs. What are our thoughts on that? I would have queued for six. Would you? I love that guy. <laughs> I love him. Honestly, I love him. He's, I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for him. He's Qu a legend. Question is to you guys. It's obviously nice having a side career when you're in football, but what other Arsenal player could you see having a shop and what would he be selling? Yeah, is it... Mm, I don't know. Mertesacker seems like... <laughs> I don't know what kind of shop. Like, maybe a shop for... For, for tall guys, you know they've got those <laughs> yeah. like a high and mighty, like long t-shirts, <laughs> <laughs> long boxer shorts, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> a shop for tall guys. Right? Yeah, you tall? Are you are you tall? We've got no, some no, no. got some long socks. <laughs> All right, Sharky, which player would have a shop and what would he be selling? Uh, I don't. I think I think 
Hector Bella and Giroud will co-own like a beauty salon. Oh. I can see it. Like they, they, you know what I mean? They're just, they, they love themselves. They're pretty boys. I think they'd like. Who would do hair and who would do makeup? Bella would do hair. Giroud would do makeup. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, just, I could just see it happening. There Drew's you go. got good hair, though. Yeah, he has, he has. They both do. They both do, yeah. So this is a player in the middle of a game having a chocolate bar thrown at him. Uh, that's a player who plays for St. Mirren, Stelios Dimitro. So he shrugs his shoulders. He doesn't really care that much. Opens the chocolate bar, takes a bite, it. carries on with the game. Just continues with the throwing. I absolutely love that. Mo, as a performer, have yeah. you ever had anything thrown at you mid-performance? Uh, loads of things thrown at me. Loads of things. <laughs> Low, where do you want to start? <laughs> no. um, I had a bra once. Did we you? On the tour. Oh, lucky yeah, you. it was a bra. But I tried to make it, I didn't see the bra because I was in the middle of a joke. And then I just had to address, I was like, yeah, whoever's can bra I just that ask, is. Can I just ask, wanna... did you eat the bra? Did I eat the bra? Because <laughs> no, 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 no. You didn't, oh. That would be weird. I didn't even touch the bra, bro. Oh, I didn't even touch <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't recommend it. Let alone eat it. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. No, no, no. Had money once as well, though. Please tell me you kept it. Of course I kept the money. Of course. In this time of, of struggling of austerity, yeah, of, of course. course I kept that money. Of course. But I did feel a bit cheap afterwards. You know, part of me, I thought like, oh, I looked like a bit of a tramp. Yeah, but, but then you could have got new jeans with it instead, instead, I mean. instead of the boot cuts. More, more boot cuts. Right, it's time for the back fall. This is a quick fire round. One minute on the clock and four questions. Are you boys ready? Yes. Excellent. The first Ooh. question is, Virgil van Dijk just went to Liverpool for £75 million. Have you ever spent too much on something? And if you have, what was it, Mo? I bought this waistcoat of a hood and I look like <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Oh. How much was it? How much was it? £150. Oh. How much was it worth? I don't know. It's, it's, it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> Shaky go. I, I, to be honest, I would pay for everything. You know what I mean? Like, I've, I've, I've even bought free samples sometimes. I pay for free samples. <laughs> so I, I, I'm ridiculous. I need guidance saving. in yeah. life. All right, next one. Manny, Manny Frimpong was trolling a young player who said they wanted to play like ex Arsenal player Cedric Avina. First question Have you ever heard of him? I'm sorry, no. Never. Uh, okay, never, no worries. Never. Who's your sneaky, sad hero, Mo? Mr. Bean. I think that guy is. And <laughs> hilarious. He's hilarious. He's so funny, you know. Uh, Mr. Bean is proper funny. Yeah, so. for me, it's got to be Nicholas Bentner. I love him. All right, speaking of Nicholas Bentner, it was his birthday this week. So the next question is, what's your favourite Lord Bentner moment? Uh, when he scored against Cardiff and then got injured straight after. <laughs> that is so Bentner. Uh, mine's when he came on off the bench against Spurs and scored within six seconds. Last question, VAR. What moment in your life would you like to use the video assistant ref on? When I want Julie to get me a couple of cans. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you've all been waiting for, isn't it, yeah, right? Like, you have to sneak that in. There you go. Point. You have to sneak it in at some point. You have to say it. Uh, mine, uh, mine will just be probably like seeing Arsenal win the Invincibles, like just over and over again, lifting the gold trophy, uh, Premier League trophy, so yeah. Good answer. Boys, I have to say, you've both been amazing guests. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it, did you? I yeah, did, man. I loved well it. Well done, boys. Well I done. loved it. Thank you very much to both of you. And if you want to get involved in the discussion, you can do using the hashtag ArsenalNation or comment in the box below. We might be reading out your comments in the next show for now. See you later from all of us. Bye-bye. See you later. And then yeah. just hold yeah. it. Up here, down here. Yeah. Up there. Up there. Yeah, here you are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>